before Beachbody, I was doing this and I was in debt and I was going bankrupt and I did this, but then this happened in my life and now my whole life is better and everything is so great. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new to my channel, hello. If you are new here, click the subscribe button, become part of our family, it's free. If you've been here a while, maybe hit the notification bell because YouTube has been awful about notifying subscribers of new videos, so do that. It's all free. But today I am going to be filming an interesting video and as you can see by the title, it is going to be about quitting Beachbody coaching four years later. I feel like I have to give you a little bit of a backstory to film this video. I have nothing planned. I don't have an outline. I Literally nothing. I just thought I would sit down, film it, and just whatever comes up is what comes up. I'm thinking that I'm going to watch my video first and just kind of react, see if there's anything in that video that I want to react to, and then at the end of it just kind of talk about where my head is at now. I was a beach body coach I believe for four years. I ended up quitting in 2016 and it was a really difficult decision. So let's just jump right into it. It's hard because there's so much invested in to beach body um, time money resources but more so emotion it sounds very dramatic but I still remember the feeling today how I felt that day and it really did come down to when you remove yourself from an organization like that you are so all in you have a team you have people that rely on you every week for emails and phone calls and you're doing well like you're making money from it when you leave that you kind of feel like not only am I leaving something for me but I'm abandoning a bunch of people and that's what I felt like in that moment I just feel like I need to come on here and talk to you guys and tell you a little bit about why I filmed this video because so much of my channel was Beachbody. To this day, my most popular videos are my Beachbody videos, besides my hysterectomy videos. So because so much of my channel was tied into that, that's why I had to make this video. I just kept convincing myself that I could hold on to it, and I could hold on to it so tightly, and yes, I was holding on to it, but it became something that I was kind of only doing halfway, a hundred percent just like I said I had been sitting on that I feel like just looking back at it now for about six months like I really really wanted out but there was so much that was holding me in it that at the end there I was really just half-assing it like I should have left the six months before but I just I was so invested that I was all in it became so hard to see the comments there like you looked like you gained weight you didn't lose anything like this is embarrassing that's hard whenever you put so much of yourself and make so many sacrifices for something almost to do it for your audience I don't know that I ever really spoke about that until my 30 lessons I learned in 30 years video when I used to do beach body programs I was so strict with the program because I wanted to do it 100% and get the maximum results. There were times, for example, that back when I ate meat, I would prepare a meal of chicken, rice, and broccoli. I would pack that meal up, go to like an olive garden with my family, and eat that instead of eating whatever was at the restaurant. And at the time I convinced myself that it was because I was so committed to the program and I was like I really wanted to show the programs for what they are like if you really commit but also at the same time in the back of my mind I was thinking about the end results and how those photos and that video was gonna look for YouTube. That I never, I very rarely found people that actually really wanted it and wanted to commit and in this part of the video, it seems like I'm talking about the physical aspect of it, like being disappointed by people that didn't actually want to commit to the weight loss, but the reality is I am such a Pisces through and through. I don't like, like I said, surface level stuff. I really want to get like deep. I want to get to the nitty, nitty gritty. I want to know why people do what they do, why they make the choices that they make. And so when I used to run my challenge groups, a lot of different coaches would say like, what are your weight loss goals? Like, what are you going to do to get that? Like, what sacrifices are you going to make? 
my challenge groups always revolved around like what will make your life more fulfilling how will losing weight aid in what you want to do in your life and so i was always searching for like that deeper understanding the deeper meaning and for an introverted pisces that was very draining it became really difficult for me to constantly be a source of disappointment because i could not it, be, it was impossible for me to keep up with the amount of messages and emails that were coming in to all different social media sites. Ultimately, I feel like if I had to sum this video up in one word or one like statement, that is why I left Beachbody. I would get email after email after email coming from my YouTube videos and I would get these huge paragraphs about everything that was going on in somebody's life and they wanted a conversation which is what I wanted mind you like I'm not faulting anybody it's exactly what I said I wanted those deep connections but at some point I was getting so many of those that I was trying to keep you gotta you gotta think like when a person emails me I don't email them back and that's the end of it. At that point, these people expect and deserve that back and forth conversation. I want to get to the root of why you're feeling like this. Let's talk about it. But when you are speaking to a hundred people in a day, which no joke, I would get like a hundred messages a day. When you're getting a hundred messages a day where the expectation and them deserving of that like back and forth is there, it's too much for one person. I could not keep up and I constantly felt bad about myself because I wasn't doing for others enough. I've seen top coaches try and branch out and do other projects, try to take their Beachbody brand and build it into a, an entirely separate brand. This still stands true four years later. I basically unfollowed most everything from Beachbody but I still follow, I think about like three or four top, top coaches. And when I was saying that, I was thinking about a specific coach in my mind and that's the one that I can still, I still follow them. I still like, I still have those same thoughts. This coach is one of the top coaches in the business, has massive success, but she keeps trying to take her brand and her business elsewhere, but people just want Beachbody, Beachbody, Beachbody from her, and I always find her come back to that. So it just doesn't seem like, yes, it sets you up for a financially stable and I'm sure a fulfilling lifestyle, but at some point, I feel like it would be massively disappointing when you're trying to do something else with your life, but you can't leave where you started. All right, so yeah, wow. Sometimes it can be really embarrassing watching old videos of yourself, um, but all of that pretty much still rings true. I essentially left Beachbody because I wasn't getting like the deep connections that I was craving and it just took up so much of my time and my energy and took away from my priorities and that was ultimately why i walked away there is something i did not touch on in the video i just felt like i got to a place with beachbody and i feel this is why mlms one of the reasons that they get such a bad rap today I saw too many Beachbody coaches that were acting like medical professionals and not just sharing their experiences and I'm not aiming that at other people I imagine I even fell into that category at one point because you become in this place you get put in this position where people have so many questions like how much of this should I be eating how much of this should I be drinking like am I doing this wrong is this bad for me that you want to help people so based on your knowledge and your research you offer that advice but I always felt so uncomfortable with that because I'm not a medical professional and I always tried to say I'm just sharing my experience this is what worked for me but ultimately I think in that kind of business we all kind of fall into the position of oh, I'm giving advice that I should not be giving because I do not have the qualifications. The other thing that I did not touch on in the video and probably the most disheartening thing for me was that even though I did not try 
to do it intentionally, I feel like something like Beachbody coaching can become very exploitive. It felt really gross to me and yet I did it because that's what I was trained to do. It felt gross to me to learn the tactics and follow through with the tactics that, that you are taught. For example, some of the most common, common MLM like weight loss tactics, if someone has a birthday, you either publicly write on their timeline or you private message them and say, hey, happy birthday, I hope your life is going well, how are you doing? And then it starts this whole conversation about their life, so eventually you could tell them about your life as a Beachbody coach. Were my intentions good with that? Yes, absolutely. Did it feel disgusting and dirty? Yes, absolutely. Another example which I never did this because to me it just felt wrong, it felt dirty, although I'm sure in some capacity I did it. Like I don't want to act like I'm innocent in this because I feel like when you're in something and you're getting it drilled in your head, you probably participate to some degree. I'm just putting that out there. However, I don't ever think I intentionally did this because it felt very, very dirty to me. A popular one today actually is if you see someone just had their baby, contact them in a message, see how their baby's doing, start a conversation with them about that, so that eventually you can kind of frame that conversation to like, oh hey, if you're looking for an option to jump back into your health and fitness, I have Beachbody right here for you. And that, to me, is just so gross. It is so gross, like a woman that just had a baby that should be thinking about nothing except for that baby and herself, her her mental well-being, her, she shouldn't be pressured to try and start a weight loss program. Now, all of that being said, I still receive comments and messages on that video every single day with people saying, Oh, I'm so glad you got out of that scam. What a scam. I can't believe that anybody falls into that. I still to this day have very, very, very few bad things to say about Beachbody itself. And even Beachbody coaching, I am not here to knock it. Some people do great with it. It's the exploitive nature that I don't enjoy. It's the unsolicited medical advice that I don't enjoy. But I'm not just this person that's like crazy anti-MLM. I am very much anti, like I said, the exploiting, the constant messaging, the not taking no for no. All of that stuff makes MLMs just like unbearable. However, I still drink Shakeology every single day, as do my children, since 2012. I cannot make any claims because legally I'm not allowed to, but allegedly drinking Shakeology every day has helped my migraines. I'm not gonna put all of that on the drink itself because I also have different lifestyle choices, but I will say I haven't had a single migraine since I started drinking Shakeology, allegedly. Guys, I've had the team come at me for making claims. I'm just saying allegedly, but that has been my experience with it. And I just assume that has something to do with my body is low on something or I'm missing some kind of like nutrient, some kind of vitamin, and Shakeology, I guess, allegedly offers that for me. I don't know. I also still think that Beachbody has some of the best fitness programs on the market. I think they do their research. I think they get the best professionals. I think in terms of what they offer, Beachbody is top notch. So for me to sit here and tell you everything that is wrong with that company, everything that is wrong with the coaching system, it would be it would be hypocritical of me because I just don't believe those things. However, what I would tell anybody that was looking to get into Beachbody coaching, and I even I've had a coach that questioned if she should go back. And my advice essentially to her was if you believe in the product and you are just in it to share your journey, then I say go for it. But I just don't agree with the trainings and the oh one thing I didn't mention, this is another one. I, <laughs> how should I say this? You guys have seen the post. These are the ones that I am most guilty of. There was no falsity in it. It's just not normal. It's not normal for a person to go on Facebook and write a long story about their life. 
oh, before Beachbody, I was doing this and I was in debt and I was going bankrupt and I did this, but then this happened in my life and now my whole life is better and everything is so great. I just, every time I see those on Facebook, every single time, I never think, oh, that person's life is so great. I think to myself, oh, I was told to do that too. I was told to phrase my paragraphs in a way that I got people wondering, I got people curious, but I left enough out that they would have to message me for more information. So this, at the end of the day, is the problem that I have with the beach body system. It's just the intention behind it. And that's why I'm saying that not all beach body coaches are bad. There are plenty of beach body coaches here on YouTube that are just trying to share their journey and that's fine. I just think if you go into it trying to play one over on someone, trying to make your life look super glamorous on Facebook, it just feels dirty and that's what turns so many people off from it. So anyways, as always, I am just here to share my own journey. I am not here to knock anybody that is doing their own thing because baby girl, I am on your team. You do what works for you, boo boo. If it makes you happy, if it's bringing you success, if it aligns with your priorities, you do you. I'm just reflecting on my own experience and sharing where I'm at now four years later. Do I regret leaving? No. Do I still think it was a very hard decision to make? Absolutely. It felt at the time I kind of felt gutted because I was just like I said I was so in. I was invested 100%. I would not go back today especially when I see how people are being trained I still get these emails, guys. I still get the, the emails directly from Beachbody headquarters. You know, every time there's a new platform that's kicking off, they're telling you how to really embrace and take advantage of that platform. And I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to be out of that kind of like rat race. But I just wanted to share my own experience, kind of touch base with you guys four years later, reflect on that experience. And I hope that you enjoy this video. If you have any other questions about Beachbody or Beachbody coaching, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.